guys and welcome to my channel i'm kristen and today i'm going to share with you guys some mother's day gift ideas i know it's a little bit later in the game but i know that some people are still picking up those mother's day gift ideas I know that some people are still picking up those Mother's Day gifts right now, or if you guys wanna make something, I think that is even more special. I love thoughtful DIY gift ideas, especially from my kids, and I'm gonna even find, I'm gonna even show you guys some items that you yourself can make your mom. So let's get into the video. video I'm gonna show you guys Mother's Day gift ideas they're DIY gifts all the way from a dollar 25 all the way up to about 40 to 50 dollars so we're gonna get into it I do want to thank Creative Fabrica for sponsoring today's video their website has thousands of fonts graphics SVGs DIY craft kits there's also classes that you are able to take that show you how to make fun projects. Right now, they also have some amazing Mother's Day bundles. So if you guys download those, there is ton of different graphics, ways you can sublimate items, SVGs, backgrounds, printables, just some amazing bundles. Also right now, up until Mother's Day, they are doing promo giveaways. So every day there is a new chance to win some sort of crafting machine and there is a prize every day. And then on their website, it shows you exactly how to participate. And on this one, it does say that you have to make sure you comment May 10th, but that is only to opt in that giveaway of the day. So you are still eligible up until Mother's Day. All right, so the first SVG I decided to download was this road trip, and, and it is really easy to do this whole entire thing. So I'm gonna show you step by step. So you download this, you're gonna go into Cricut Design Space and upload an image, and you are going to go to your downloads, and this is what's going to pop up. I'm gonna click this road trip in one. We're gonna make a really cool and cute t-shirt. I did not want this on there, so I did end up deleting that, and then you just make sure you size your image or your SVG to size of whatever you are going to be either ironing on or putting this on, so whatever kind of surface. So I used some Smart Iron-On Vinyl and I am just weeding everything out like I'm supposed to, and then I'm just gonna be using the Easy Press. And this is just a really quick and fun way to make anyone a gift. But this is going to be for my mom, I'm making her the cutest little road trip gift basket she loves. Going on day trips, and I think that a fun little day trip gift basket is going to be perfect for her. I'm also going to be making a few other items, but I did want to show you this cute gift basket idea. So I picked up this beach tote or just this tote from the Target dollar spot recently, along with this beach blanket. I think this is just a really cute bag just to pack some fun snacks in. So I did put some peanut butter peanuts in there and those are from Sam's Club. And then a lot of these really fun snacks you can actually just get from the Dollar Tree. My mom loves popcorn, so we're gonna be adding a ton of different kinds of popcorn. And Dollar Tree, honestly, if you're wanting to try different types of popcorn, they have it there for you. And of course, some Werther's Soft Caramels. And like I said, we're gonna be adding some other really fun things in here that you would want for a fun little road trip or a day trip or whatever you prefer. So I just rolled up that t-shirt, but of course we're gonna be making some other items. So I have been wanting to try out sublimation since I started checking out Creative Fabrica's website because they have a ton of different images that would be great for sublimation. So I'm giving this a go. This is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, but this is the ink I use along with the printer. And it does say once you put sublimation ink inside a printer, it is a sublimation printer. So I printed these cute little dogs out. These were actually on Canva's website, but I thought they were cute. My mom loves chihuahuas and I thought these were super cute, but you can always check out that website too. If you don't have Canva, I do pay for that. And I think Creative Fabrica is an amazing website, especially if you sell your items on Etsy, you have commercial use out of the Creative Fabrica website. And if you guys do want to check it out, I do have a link in the description box so you get one month free of their all access. So make sure you guys check that out and you'll get 10 free downloads um, 
with that link. So I also wanted to make a tumbler. So the top did not work correctly because I am using a mug press, but I think it is so cute as is. And that tumbler did come from Michael's. But these coasters are absolutely adorable. And then that uh, sublimation image that did come from the Creative Fabrica website from the tumbler. And I'm just rearranging this basket or this bag once again, because this is totally my love language. I love making baskets for anybody and everyone. And if I'm going to give you a gift, it is probably going to be in basket form. So I love the digital paper. So if you are like me that I don't love buying scrap of paper, I don't use enough of it to buy a ton of it. But if I want to print it off and just use it for one project or maybe even two, I think this is absolutely great. So I found this really cute one in a Mother's Day bundle and I am using this frame from the Dollar Tree. This is one of the newer ones and it is in the Mother's Day section as well. I'm sure they will be in the frame section before we know it, but I just really like it because it pulls out at the top. You can add your picture or whatever you prefer on the inside of this. And even if you just added a picture and gave it to your mom for Mother's Day, I think it is really cute. But I wanted to go up just a notch with this. I have this in, Instax, I think that's how you say it, this little printer. So I just print off images or pictures from my phone and it prints right onto that little printer. I think it is awesome, especially if you are going to be using it for quick little DIYs like this. I just use a tiny clothespin and that picture and I just glued it to the center and that is it. It is a really inexpensive Mother's Day gift if you are on a budget. This wooden frame came from the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm going to use my Cricut for this one. So I found this SVG off of the Creative Fabrica website. I can't, I don't think I'm gonna say that uh, enough times. And it says, best dog mom ever. Uh, my mom loves her Chihuahua. I think she's always loved her dogs more than she loved me, which is totally fine um, because they don't live forever. So. Anyways, she's a spectacular dog mom. She's a spectacular mom in general, but she's like a really great dog mom. Uh, so of course, uh, we are going to make a DIY project for her um, with this uh, frame and a picture of her dog. So we are just going to take some antique wax by Waverly and I'm just gonna be doing a stain with this. I could have probably taken this outside and stained, but it just seems like it would have taken so much longer and this just looks just as good as actual stain. So once that was done, I'm going to be reusing this heart shaped and I printed out a picture of her dog Fiona and I'm just going to be putting that backing right on so it does have a nice little backing so it doesn't fall apart. And then we added that best dog mom ever SVG and I think this is so cute. So if you wanted to give your mom something like this, it obviously doesn't have to say best dog mom ever. And it can be a picture of you and hers together. Uh, but it is just a really cute and fun idea. This frame I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was $3 because it was damaged. As you can see, it is missing a hook. So I just used my cordless screwdriver and just took all of these little screws out. And of course, we had to take that $3 price tag off. So I started to go ahead and fill in these holes. I realized I was going to probably have to sand this down and repaint it and redo it a little bit. So I just kind of had a different idea and a different way to go about this. I decided that, you know what, we're not going to go with the painting. We're just going to add some fun scrap of paper. So this is off their website as well. I think this is such a pretty background. I love this. I just, I love these florals. They are so pretty. And so I just glued it to the frame and then these MOMs, these came from Hobby Lobby as well. And it was 49 cents and they were a two pack. So I didn't even pay attention. I really only had to buy one of the M packs, but that is totally okay. I'll eventually use it down the road. So I'm just going to be hot gluing the mom to the top. And then I did like that one, two, three galvanized piece that was originally from the sign or the frame. So I just decided to hot glue those on. I did end up adding the screws later on, but I thought the hot glue would kind of secure them just for a little while while I was putting everything together. And then I just added three little clothespins and those clothespins are from the Dollar Tree. And then I just added three of those those mini pictures to the bottom and I think this is so stinking cute.
And this last idea is a fun gardening gift basket. This came off of Amazon and I did end up putting the inside or whatever you like to call that. I did end up putting that on correctly. I wasn't sure how to do it. So I did have to look at the picture later on and I figured out that you had to roll it. I should have known, but I didn't. Uh, but this comes with some really great items and I will link this uh, site for you guys or this Amazon link in the description box. So if you guys do need some last minute ideas, Amazon Prime is the way to go. And this just has so much. This has everything that you would need for gardening. It has all the tools. It also came with gloves, a little spray bottle. It just, it came with all of it. And then I thought to top this basket off, it would look really cute. Or it would kind of, like I said, it would definitely top it off if we added some veggie seeds. These are also off of Amazon. And then I just added a little hummingbird feeder, a little hummingbird house to this. And all of these were from Amazon. I think that one is so cute. But I decided to make something for this basket as well. So this is what it looks like when it is all put together. It is so cute. I love the colors. I love the purple. I think the purple is just so pretty. But to top this off, I wanted to make something. I was going to make a garden flag because it kind of would have went well with this theme. But they were way bigger than my eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. So I'm gonna have to figure out how people do that. If they print off like two separate sheets, I'm not sure. But I had this canvas bag and a bloom where you are planted. I thought this was so pretty. And this is an image from Creative Fabrica as well. And then I just sublimated it, used sublimation paper, and I just added it to the back of this basket. this a gift idea coffee lovers always so I wanted to sublimate this coffee mug this mug is from Michaels and I added this owl to the front you can add anything but I really just want to test out sublimation I bought all this stuff to do it I might as well test it out see what I'm good at see what I'm not good at and uh, see what I definitely need some practice with I used my mug press for this and this mug fit perfect inside of this mug press the previous tumbler that I did was not the correct size so that is why I, I kind of knew or kind of had an idea that it might not turn out but this one turned out perfect and then just added a Starbucks gift card or somebody's favorite coffee I got this cute little pot from Dollar Tree some cute little notebooks and of course paper mate pens are everybody's favorite I think at least these are always my favorite to use so you have to add those in or you could add some crossword puzzles in whatever you prefer um yeah, there we go. Good old paper mate. Uh, but that is it. That is it for the video. That's it for my gift ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out Creative Fabrica. My link will be in the description box below for you guys. You can get one month free of their all access subscription. But that is it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.